What's up guys, I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. You guys want beer? I'm gonna give you some beer. I have a great lineup coming and I'm starting with Southern Grist once again, guys. My second review from these guys. It's gonna be the Teal Hazy IPA, which is interesting because this is 5.8% ABV coming in as a hazy IPA that's definitely a little bit uncharacteristic, a little unorthodox for some uh, breweries. But we have a New England style IPA with barley, wheat, flaked oats, and it's hopped with citra, mosaic, some of my favorites, and uh, Rockow, Rockow hop. So don't really know that one, not familiar with it, but uh, we're gonna dive in, guys. This can is like 3.79 per can, so uh, probably like four bucks, you could say. And uh, it's it's actually something that's made its way to Michigan um, very recently. And I, and I thought I'd give these guys a go again, going for my second round from Southern Grist. I think it's a great brewery from what I've seen and researched. Pour. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm down relaxing. I worked this morning. But you know what, guys? It's a beer o'clock. It's a beer o'clock. 5.45 on a Thoys day. Uh, as we pour, I went pretty aggressive, um, but not too ridiculous. We have quite a haze bomb, but it's a little bit clearer towards the bottom, a little bit of that straw, um, yeah, straw off yellow, kind of, a little bit more golden towards the middle of the glass here, um, but a big, foamy, three fingers worth of head that's sitting very compacted on the top, uh, and it's not budging, guys. It's just kind of hanging on for dear life. Um, I shouldn't say hanging on for dear life. It's hanging on easily. I mean, we got some serious grip going on here. Um, but as I look at the glass once again, we have semi-carbonation streaming to the top, a little bit of bubbling, uh, no real sediment to be seen. So let's see what we're working with with this hazy teal. Let's go to an aroma through this massive head. Uh, not the greatest time to do an aroma, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Definitely like lemon, grapefruit, um, dankness. Uh, I'd say the mosaic shining through more than all the other hops so far. Yeah, dankies, 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 dankies. A little bit of that um, marijuana smell. Dank grassiness, a little bit again, more citrus, a little bit of tropical fruit, but I'd say more lemon, a little bit of oranginess. And more dankness, just super dank actually, like very, very dank. Um, let's check it out guys, I'm diving in. Uh, it's teal, let's go for a cheers. Yeah, mosaic again, popping through. You can always taste mosaic for some reason. The dank, sometimes it's like berry-like, but then other times I just get more like marijuana grassiness, and that's the version of mosaic I'm getting today. Marijuana grassiness, uh, coupled with like lemon, maybe some orange peel, orange pith. Maybe a little bit of stone fruit in there, generic stone fruit. Um, Definitely, like, I'm getting some lemon shining through now. I, I would say the, the dankness is wearing off a little bit on my palate. I'm getting accustomed to it. Um, now I'm getting a little bit more of, like, lemon and, like, I'd say, like, mm, like some sort of, like, clementine pith and orange peel. Um, this was canned on, by the way, 518, it looks like, and today is July 14th, time of recording. So uh, I'm catching back up on my reviews, guys. There are days that I do uh, quite a few reviews in a row. So that put that in the notes. You'll see sometimes I'll, I'll crank a bunch of reviews out, but it's not every day. It's like I'll pick a certain couple days and then I'll just crank out like two or three reviews. Um, today's one of those days. Uh, so how many times can I say, ah, uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. The dankness, certainly the most um, abundant thing in this beer, it's certainly sticking out. It's a very light mouthfeel, uh, slightly pillowy, a little bit of creaminess, uh, but, but very light at 5.8%. It's not coming across with any big kind of bitterness on the back end. 5.8%, uh, what do you expect? Very drinkable, the dankies, coupled with lemon, a little bit of clementine skin, and uh, navel orange rind, I would say, and, and grapefruit um, juiciness, kind of to just solidify everything together on the citrus end. 
Um, but what I remember most is these dank hops kind of popping through, guys, which is that mosaic at the end of the day. And I do seem to get this throughout my palate, even from start to finish. And that's kind of what, what this beer is, is just danky citrus. Gets more enjoyable as I drink it though. I mean, because it's the light mouthfeel uh, makes for incredible drinkability. Soft bitterness on the back end, just kind of to bring everything together. Super nice beer. Super nice beer. I really enjoy it. Um, but it's nothing that'll blow you away. It's nothing I haven't tasted before. It's nothing that's um, blow your palate out hoppy or memorable. But I do think it's a very nice combination of hops and it makes for a very drinkable beer. So as for rating, I'm going to sit on a 398 out of 5, guys. Super good. Um, but nothing exceptional if you will but very very good and i would come back to this one if i wanted to at another time and i am enjoying my southern grist beer so far so this has been teal the hazy ipa thank you for being here guys it's another review you guys rock if you made it all the way to the end of the video hit that like button i wouldn't be here without you guys i would have quit a long time ago i'm over now cheers